This week's animal is one we often see in the countryside, the donkey. Donkeys are believed to be intelligent creatures, but don't take my word for it. Hope Zoo curator Joey Brown joins us again to tell us more about this animal. Hi, thanks for having me again. So we got our two female donkeys right now. Mm -hmm. um, we got Miss Ninja here yeah. and Miss Corduroy. And so female donkeys, actually, do you know the name for a female donkey? No, I don't. It's a, called a Ginny. No, I did not know that. What about a male donkey? You've probably heard the name before. So mm -hmm. a jack or a jackass is, is the term for a male donkey. Mm -hmm. I've heard that donkeys have incredible memories. Is that true? Yeah, they have, they, had, you know, they do have great memories. You know, they come from the Equidae family, which is the same family as horses. So they're very intelligent mammals um, and they're good at kind of building relationships with people, you know, so they, you know, just like horses, donkeys, you got to kind of have to earn their trust and they can learn and remember things very well. Um, our girls here, you know, they're sometimes they're kind of skittish and standoffish to new people, but to me, you know, they, they kind of, they know me, they're familiar with me and to you, they already taken they're some really warmer to you, you know, <laughs> and a good way to do that is, you know, offering them some of their favorite treats, which is some carrots. Mm -hmm. What's their lifespan? Typically their lifespan is about 30 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. Um, but donkeys are dis dis descendants of the African wild ass, you know, so they've been, you know, they're fully domesticated now and they've been domesticated for about four to 6,000 years, you know, and they're kind of very common, you know, work animals, you know, throughout South America, Central America, the U.S., you know, they're a bit more advantageous to the horse because they can survive in much harsher conditions, like almost like desert, very dry conditions, and they're strong animals, so they, they come in handy on the farms. Donkeys are often called beasts of burden. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason for this? That beast of burden term kind of be, came because um, of their ability, because they are such kind of strong, sturdy work animals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so a lot of times when they're on the farms or if you're traveling long distances, you know, donkeys are used to carry that load. You know, whether it's going across a farm field or, you know, traveling, you know, across the country, these guys came in very handy. How often do they reproduce? Female could reproduce just about once every year or so, because actually the gestation period, you know, they stay pregnant for just about a year. Um, so, you know, the, the female will be pregnant for about a year. She, they usually give, give birth to one, one young, hi, 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 which is called a fowl, a baby like a young donkey. And, um, and then, you know, and within the next couple of months, you know, she can eventually breed again as well. What's the population like in Jamaica? So, I mean, it's hard to say in Jamaica, but, you know, around the world, there you go, corduroy. <laughs> um, around the world, there's estimated to be at least 40 million donkeys worldwide. How much does it cost to maintain them here at the zoo? It's hard to put an exact number on how much it is maintain them, but you know, they feed largely on, on hay and grass. So mm -hmm. these guys are grazing for about six to seven hours of the day. The, the important thing is keeping them eating grass and the ability to graze. You know, even in the dry season, we got to make sure they're still getting grass and hay um, to kind of keep, keep their digestion going. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Go Wild. Join us again next week to learn more about the animals right here at the zoo. Until then, I'm Kelsey. I'm Joey. This is Corduroy, and this is Ninja. Go wild. <laughs> <laughs>